Hey, <clears throat> let me try that again. Hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. We are returning to Advance Wars tonight after it's um, <laughs> after it's just be constantly put on the back burner for um, Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons and all that stuff. Um, but don't, don't get me wrong, I, I, I have been enjoying this game. It's just, you know, Story of Seasons is Story of Seasons. <laughs> I've been really digging that game, so I've kind of been uh, been shoving to the side a little bit, but no longer, no longer will this get shafted, for it is what we are playing tonight, and it'll go swimmingly, I'm sure, because it has been so long since I last played. <laughs> hey Adam, how are you doing? So yeah, let's not continue the delay, let's get us into it. Right, so we've got to continue the campaign. Oh yeah, and it doesn't tell us what we're doing. Hang on, right. Yeah, and see, now, now this is where it's already going like a, oh, I wish I hadn't not played it for quite a while. <laughs> right, if I yield, they'll like explain the setup to me again. And again, this is, you know, this is what you do in your war. You surrender so that you can get the, like, terms explained to you again. And then, and then you can fight them again. Sorry, I'm late. Andy, Max, and Special Super Advisor Uber, wasn't it? Who are you? My name is Sammy. I'm the Special Forces Commander. I was supposed to join you earlier, but my last mission ran along. Well, better late than never, right? I'm an infantry and mech unit specialist. My units can seize and secure new bases faster than any other COs. The transport units are top of the line too. Don't hesitate to deploy me and my troops if you see as you see fit. I'm ready for action. Look forward to working with you, Sammy. That's the spirit. Oh, I've got some information too. Word is that Olaf's forces are marching towards Yellow Comet. Let's go get them. Wait a minute, who's that? Those troops. Something, something. It's my turn. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Hmm, I think I've seen those guys before. Do you remember them, Uber? I'm going to say no, because it's been a while. <laughs> those look like Green Earth troops. Heard they have an independent battalion around. Maybe this is it. They're supposed to be really tough, especially the air units. That's a special forces commander for you. Always up on the latest intel. How did you get this intel, Andy? I ran into him once and... Hey, you survived, didn't you? That's pretty impressive, Andy. Yeah, nice work, Andy. Alright, let's roll. Okay, this has got... We have the fog of war going on in this. I gotta remember how to play. <laughs> okay. I feel like that's too easy for something to just not be in the city. Oh wait, no, yeah, you can only... Uh, how many can these load? I don't know. Probably not the greatest of ideas, but whatever. <laughs> hmm. Fuck it. Let's just destroy some shit. Yeah, coming back after not playing this game for like a week or two and going straight into a uh, fog of war mission is probably not going to be very kind to me. 
Because <laughs> these missions, I will say, I, I think are a little bit difficult, or a little bit more difficult than the regular missions. Because there's like a bunch of things that you just don't know where they are, and they can take you by surprise. Do. Copters and planes. Hmm. I don't know if this will count as hidden, because it's like, because the forest is supposed to like hide your units, but I don't, I don't know exactly how well a forest does at <laughs> hiding a, a, a copter. Are doing anything like, it's like, oh, I can't see that airplane because it's hidden by all the trees that are beneath it. And yeah, I don't think it quite works like that. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know, I guess it's all I can possibly hope for at the moment. that it works. <laughs> right, you can go over this way, I guess. Alright, now let's see how badly I've screwed things up. The Orange Star Army, and his troops. This time I won't be beaten by Andy and his ilk. I shall crush them with one stroke. As I kind of suspected, the trees don't hide the aerial units. attack against those, so maybe not. Hmm. I think I might immediately want to remove these guys from this situation. Here, sort of thing. Uh, you can run off into there and hide. You probably could have done better. I could have put the transport cop in a slightly better place. Really. I forgot that they can't fire. <laughs> Look at new attack. Up to some planes. Fuck okay, it, yeah, just get rid of the bomber.
Alright, now we just hope that there's no one really on the other side of this pass <laughs> waiting for us. I don't know exactly what they could be, but you know, just in case, I guess. Did you go any further? You can just hide here then. Oh no, he's attacking my transport copter and there isn't even anyone in it! That's not what the enemy usually does! <laughs> he's now also killing a lot of my units, which is uh, very not good. Oh, pull no punches. And now he's going to do that again. Oh, dear. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I'm all out of anti-air now as well, so that's... That's very not good. <laughs> yeah, as I said, starting with a... Uh, with a Fog of War mission is a little bit cruel because... I'm sort of... Up shit creek. <laughs> Well, if I can't go there, that definitely means there's somebody there. It just means they can't go in... I don't know. <laughs> I was like, ooh, I can't put that person there. But I can put that person there. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh, well, I know these guys down there. I should definitely be careful of. I was hoping that would give me a little bit better range or a little bit better view, but I guess not. You attack. You can attack infantry, good. Oh, really? Okay, not actually an ambush as I was expecting. Mm. I kind of need my fighters like back over at my base. But it's like, I, I don't know where they are at the moment, and, well, I know they're, like, here-ish, but you have kind of have to then, like, spend the turn finding out where they are. Right, let's go here. That's not as big of a view as I was expecting to get.
Well, they're making themselves seen. It's not going well for me, but they're making themselves seen. <laughs> Like, he's going really badly for me. Going forests. All right, wait there and try not to die, I guess. You can only shoot copters, that's not good. Losing a lot of my uh, range was not, or not range, losing a lot of my anti-air stuff very close to the beginning, not great. Fuck it, just like, just get scope out what they've got, but like not really. <laughs> Let's go about what they've got and basically just try to hide everyone in trees. <laughs> oh no, he knows I'm here. Well, that's all my that's all my fast transportation gone. close to actually do anything. I can destroy that. I can at least attack it, I guess. <laughs> you just kind of get this guy to sneak around, I bet as soon as he becomes visible, he's just... He's just fucked. <laughs> oh no! Trap! Oh, well, I wish I could shoot you. Because I definitely can. Cool, I now have one way to take out air units, and it's shit. <laughs> it's this little piece of shit down here, who, I mean, bless him, he's trying his best. It's not great though. I say he's trying his best. Currently, I'm just kind of running him around the back. He's just like, please don't die. Please don't die. Come on.
Alright, well as soon as you come out, you're pretty much gonna get bombed, so... No, this is just terrible. <laughs> this is just... I feel like I... I there's a little bit of me that just says, You should probably just yield now, save yourself a little bit of time, but... I don't know, I, I'm, I must fight, surely. I have like no way of getting this guy to a good position anymore. As soon as he becomes visible, he's gonna get bombed. At least do that. Nope, that doesn't even put him in range. Oh, and he saw me anyway. Well, I did run up next to him. <laughs> At least that guy's almost out of ammo. But like, not actually out of ammo yet. Yeah, this is going horribly. <laughs> That's really all I have to say about this. This is just not going well. Oh, seriously, I still can't, like... It's like I need him to get across the bridge, but because of movement, I can't. Like, I can't, or not the bridge, but like, I can't get him across the water in one turn. Um, I don't know, because he put this. Oh, shit. Okay, my tank is now out in the open, ready to die. Fuck okay, it, I'll put more people out in the open. <laughs> if everybody's ready to die, then you can't kill all of us. You have to pick who to kill. Though you probably have enough units to kill us all, I'm not gonna lie. Especially if he gets his CO power. In which case he will definitely have enough units to kill us all. Oh, this is just... A lot of no good shit happening. It's like, come on, I know that guy's still there. I was just there myself. I literally just got these three guys left. It's, it's over. <laughs> it's, it, it's over. But, um... Clinging. Oh, fuck. Well, I think this is where we die.
Where the fuck did that guy come from? <laughs> hmm, something tells me this guy isn't gonna make it. Call me a pessimist. <laughs> All bombers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as you could probably tell, my main mistake there was letting um, all of my anti air units die right at the beginning of the mission. <laughs> I guess I'll try not to do that this time. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with Max this time. I kept thinking it was like you had to choose um, Andy, but that's just because I was mashing the A button. <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe a little bit more power would be good. Right, we've read all this. Yeah, yeah, we know. I'm great at dying. Hmm. I think really what I gotta do is I gotta like I, I gotta try better to like hide my anti-air units so that they don't just get the shit blown out of them immediately, really. I've also got to try and protect other, like, air units, like missiles and uh, the artillery. The problem is the copters can just, or like, all, all the air units can just sort of, like, ignore other terrain. So I think last time I was like, aha, if I put it on the bridge, you kind of can't get past. It's like... Oh no, they're air units, they, they, they can, <laughs> and they will. I'm gonna leave you there for the moment, I think. Wish I had a little bit better movement on this, on this guy. Well, I think 
I might actually keep this guy down here just to give me sort of like a little bit of vision on like the mountains and stuff, you know. Should I wait for that guy? Maybe. That might still be visible, so that might still fuck me up, but I don't know. Definitely gonna attack this guy. It's just a matter of what he is. Okay, you can't even attack that guy, so that's don't don't bother with that then. <laughs> uh, and Nell said like, oh take care of the bombers first. And it's like, yeah, but the bombers aren't fucking appearing. <laughs> Can't even fucking attack bombers. Mm. This is a very shitty attempt at blocking the uh, the bomber from possibly getting my transport unit. Actually, no, the transport unit's in forest, I think. Yeah, and this might be fine, man. Not sure. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Oh, this is very not good. Though actually, that's put him in anti-air range, so I can possibly fuck them up. Uh, can't get to that bomber, that's irritating.
Fuck it, get rid of you. I'm gonna try and keep the bomber, that bomber, in sort of my eye line. Oh, oh. I could also just kill it. That's fine. That makes it easier. <laughs> you just kill it. I was like, didn't I have another set of guys? And I was like, oh yeah, they got killed. <laughs> oh yeah, they died horribly. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Well, it's not going as badly as it was before, which is good. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Definitely gotta be in range to get hit by something, surely. You could just capture this, I guess. I'm like, I don't really know what I'm supposed, to, what I'm doing with you, <laughs> but you, you, you can do something, I guess. Okay. Well, I've made him scared to do anything, which is good. Or he doesn't think he's able to do anything. Okay. 
hate how this has like so little movement. So I don't really know what to do with this fighter, truth be told. I mean, it, it can still get attacked here, so I guess... Oh, hello. <laughs> if I put it somewhere else, at least then it's visible. But you can't actually attack me there, so that's fine. Fuck it, let's just use our power. Even if it's just to kill this one guy. <laughs> Stand on the mountain a little bit more in case anybody in case anybody wants to kill you, basically. <laughs> yeah. I feel like he, he can't have that many enemies left, or he can't have that many units left, surely. Especially if he's like not attacking. But then it, I say that, but I am like hidden, so that would obviously be a reason why he's not attacking. Okay, there's a guy. so hot for fuel apparently. I mean, it's not very hidden to be in the city, but I'm just thinking, what if I just went there anyway? <laughs> We can't fight each other, that's why he's not doing anything with that.
first it's good just in case like if I move the fighter he then goes like out of my line of sight and like I know he's there <laughs> music support the music in this game is very good yeah Game Boy Advance games actually I, I, like consistently had good soundtracks they just uh, must just be something about the sound chip, I guess, that just was right. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> And someone's come out to play. This Game Boy Advance game, yes it is. Oh, and then everybody's disappeared from my vision. And then every, yep, no, everyone's come out to play. You step out the bushes for one second, it's like, ah, oh, I see him, I see him, attack, attack. And like, oh, you bastards. Go around him, dumbass. Oh great, well now that copter's fucked because... Oh, I can't get that copter because it's... Oh no, I still can. Hmm. But I'm a little bit worried because this, this now put one anti-air. How can I get jet get trapped by a tank that can't even shoot <laughs> I, I, I know. It's a bit silly. Yeah, how I see this guy. But the problem is... Yeah. He's not defended. So I, I, I need to get, like, this guy here. That's stat. And a lot of people are running out of fuel. Just go there and die. <laughs> it might distract you from someone else. Actually. Right. Mm -hmm. It probably won't work out, but I'm like, ooh, I could possibly be clever. You can go there just to see if I can get like a little bit extra. I gotta be careful with some of the fuel now, because quite a few of my units are getting low. And I've only got like a few captured areas, because it's not really as important in this mission. You can't join the down now. capturing this. Fuck it. You know what? You start capturing this as well. It might just draw some people out. <laughs> I feel like I don't have to... I, I feel like I don't really need to worry about the air units anymore. I feel like I've gotten rid of most of them. Obviously, I don't know if that's true. But there's, like, there, there's no... Like, there was a whole... Like, I've pretty much got, like, this whole, like, line 
down the map. They're like if they if they try and do anything, I see them. Famous last words. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. But um yeah, so they couldn't have like snuck around the back. And there's not a lot of space, unless they just have like a full line, like down here, <laughs> of, of uh, air units. I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, I might be alright. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if that tank was like the last person they've got left or what. I'll just keep capturing then. Really? You, you can't see? Like, oh wow, you are, yeah. You are out of fuel completely. Yeah, I've got to stop hiding in bushes now. I think I'm, I might just have to like wait here and just like waste a few turns um, right, I, I know he's on that Just fucking try and destroy him and ho like a little bit cross the fingers hope that's his last unit It's not his last unit. Nah, I can't capture that turn if you do that. I mean, they really are just like, they're at the edge of the map, basically. Yeah, no, I, I gotta like sit some guys here and just wait. I mean, even, I don't even think the APC unit can even, will even be able to like make it back to like the place. He's got three fuel. <laughs> hey, Hydraulic, how are you doing? It's very advanced warfare. It's a, bit, it's a very fitting title. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I did it. I, Eagle, lost again. Yeah, it sure looks like it. You're the Orange Star CEO. Where's Andy? Andy? Listen up, pal. I'm Max. The best Orange Star has to offer. I'd heard of a CEO who was strong as a bull, but a bit one-dimensional. Who could have foreseen that I would lose to him? What? What did you say? I don't think you're ready for war. Who... who are you? The name's Sammy. I'm an Orange Star CO too. This is Uba, our advisor and st strategist. Strategist. Max may be one-dimensional, but that's no problem. Hold it, what's about me being one-dimensional? You stink at indirect combat. Urgh. Failing to consider Uber was your downfall. You need to go back to basic training and try again. Advisor? Is that someone who gives orders to officers in the field? In any case, Sammy, Uber. Yes? I would like to apologize for my behavior. It was inappropriate. Oh, okay. I vow, I vow by my lucky goggles that the next time we meet, I will do better. Now I will take my leave. Farewell. Wait, wait a minute. No one said you could leave. Come. He seems like a pretty decent guy after all. I'm nobody's fool. Huh, A rank. Nice.
Hmm? Like a plague, here comes the Orange Star Army. Not content with their own lands, they've come to steal mine. Never, I say, never! Gambay's Imperial forces shall drive them back. I don't know what's going on, but I'll do my best. Darn, I hadn't planned on crossing into Yellow Comet. Well, here goes. If we could just negotiate. I think it's too late for that, though. Uh, fuck it. We'll play a salmon. We haven't used them yet. Oh, no. I was just planning on passing through Yellow Comet, but... Kanbei's Imperial forces spotted us before we could cross- before we even crossed the border. You were trying to cross the border! Kanbei's Imperial forces? Uh-huh. They're supposed to be the best trained troops around. The high equipment costs and salaries must take- must make them hard to maintain. The best trained, huh? Boy, Sammy, you have all the fun. Wish I was going instead of you. I doubt if this is going to be all that much fun, Andy. Ready, Uber? It's time to get busy. Not a very big map today. Mm. Okay, now I feel like I gotta I got, like clear out the uh, fog of war sort of thing. I was like, I can't, I can't hide in trees anymore. I, I, I can't hide in the bushes. That's not that's not a strategy anymore. Hmm. It seems like there are there are only like two ways across this side of the map. And that's like these points. Warfare. <laughs> that'd be a, that'd certainly be a new direction for the Wario games. <laughs> tank was uh, interesting choice to say the least. Okay, now that the medium tanks are coming out to play, this is where I gotta be a little bit careful with it all. Why did that do so much? There's no one complaining, I guess.
That was a bit more evenly matched than I was hoping. about this sort of top half that's going on. This medium tank is ripe for causing havoc. Kanbei's Imperial Forces will show you the meaning of true power. Morale boost. I don't know what that does, but it's probably not good for me. <laughs> This isn't going too hot at all. <laughs> Could probably take out one of the medium tanks. Maybe. But they've still got another one with full health. Yeah, no, they're, they're really sort of, like, pushing now. Ugh. the best I could sort of hope for from that. know what Sammy's power is. Double time increases movement range for infantry and mech units. Their movement cost on all terrain becomes one. Increases 
firepower and defensive ratings for all units. This person's in range as well. Ah. <laughs> yeah, and I'll fuck this up as well now. <laughs> this mission's over for me. No, I've, I've clearly got to that point in the game where it's like I must fail every mission precisely once <laughs> before I can go, oh yeah, no, this is how I should probably do things. <laughs> my power. Why not, you know? I mean, as soon as I come out of the city, I mean, I've, I've, never mind the fact that the tank can definitely just blow me the fuck up anyway, but as soon as I do that, he's gonna go for me. As soon as I step out of the city, the tank's gonna come for me. Fuck it. Attack that guy. <laughs> Some of my guys are hanging on. Okay, this guy's dead. <laughs> they were hanging on. Just a little bit. Got. I'll try. Like, but the whole like bottom area now is just kind of fucked. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta try and like redeem this top area a little bit, I guess. Somehow. I mean, this, this mission is a lost cause. I've definitely already lost, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm a, I'm a trooper at that, you know. Uber troop. This is the end. I mean, this guy's dead anyway. <laughs> it's mostly just stubbornness at this point. It's, it's, it's just stubbornness to refuse to yield. <laughs> This is over. You have to take damage in order to take out an indirect combat. You have to take damage in order to take out the indirect combat units. Start to stay within the mountains and protect your position. The enemy will keep coming at you, but you just have to hold on and give up. Good luck. Hmm. <laughs> right, let's try that one one more time. Go go with Andy this turn time. I, I feel like this start of trying to take out these guys was the right. That's like the right start. Just maybe not push forward as much. Maybe I don't know. It would definitely help to keep like my um, like indirect attack unit safe.
kind of forgot that he'd be in the range, but that's not really too bad. That's a little bit bad, but it's as Nell said. I need to, you. You'll need to take damage in order to kill. Taking damage is a little bit less than. <laughs> it's a little bit lower on the scale compared to getting your shit kicked in and losing a unit. You were in range, but I've just fucked myself a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Definitely gonna heal. <laughs> Definitely need to damage the medium tank. really wish you were in an actual range like to do anything would be useful <laughs> It's not gonna do a lot, but I kinda have to take, like, get rid of this artillery a little bit. That guy's probably dead next turn. 
Oh, which means a lot of things are also probably dead next turn. Interesting choice when you have a full health medium tank right there. You, you, you kind of need to stay there of like definitely dead that makes you <laughs> uh, I don't think that's enough unfortunately really the point is just to try and keep any like long range units safe <laughs> even if it means I have to sacrifice a couple of infantries Really, I think my main my main kind of thing is keep the it's just like hold off those like top tanks for a little bit whilst I kind of get rid of all the scary shit at the bottom and then hopefully my medium tank will survive long enough to then just like push these tanks shits in hopefully <laughs> Or I've at least like kept my uh, long range stuff alive long enough so that I can kill these guys with them. They should be these guys dead though, so...
I think the only thing my medium tank's got to be worried about next turn is this guy. It's a sure shot. Oh, maybe I should have done that because that makes that open for the tank. Uh, that may have been a bad move. But I don't know. I think even if he does do something, it won't like. I don't think it'll kill. Well, okay, it, it definitely won't kill, and it won't, like, I don't think it'll really hinder me. It might hinder me a little bit, but he's on a city, so he'll kind of hopefully be fine. That's not fantastic, I'll be honest. Okay, this is looking all right though, I think. And I've got rid of pretty much all of their scary units, now it's just taking out the rest of their guys. this turn they'll have yeah they shouldn't have any more tanks after this turn Okay, I think I've got. The, I think I can safely say I've got this in the bag. Yeah, you can. You can definitely tell when like they're trying. To, they're approaching, but they're not attacking. That means you've got them.
I'm pretty sure that guy just ran into... Uh... Yeah, he, that guy just ran into, like, line of sight. <laughs> it's like, alright, I've lost, let's get this over with. Preposterous! Kanbei's forces defeated. Withdraw! Wow, they were good. I can't wait to lose the next mission. <laughs> Just to then win it. <laughs> I'm gonna go through my obligatory loss. What shall we do, Sonja? Well, what are the current battle conditions, father? What? I asked about the conditions, father. Well, I, um... Oh, father, this is so typical of you. Gathering thorough intel is the key to victory. What are you planning to do without even basic information? Basic information? Well, yes. Hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. I suppose I'll share my intel with you, father. The enemy's troops are deployed here. Doesn't appear to be a very large force. That's so. Then I'll just crush them with superior numbers. Well, yes, you could do that. But first, it is decided. This time, this time, Kanbei will be showered with glory. Wait, wait, Father! You've got to remember to deploy in an area with a, with secure bases. The enemy seizes them before you arrive, Father. He's gone. Oh, Father! What are you trying to prove? Well, by the sounds of it, this might be a uh, capture more bases mission. So we might be wise to go with Sammy this time. Where we want to be moving quite a bit. There aren't many units here. But then there must be some bases around here, right now? Well, right as always, Sammy. Nothing gets by you. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what to do, right? No, I don't have any questions. Counting on you, Sammy. You too, Uber. No, it just seems like a typical mission. I can't see anti-air being much use to me. With the no air units. That's in range anyway.
They have quite a few medium tanks though, which it'd be nice if I had some, I'm not gonna lie. either yet, no. I don't know if that was the best move, but I, did, I wanted to, like, remove my medium tank from the situation that I could possibly avoid having that destroyed. But yeah, obviously that makes them free to sort of line up, <laughs> line up the bridge. Not good, not good. Well, I do have the funds for one medium tank. I know how I'm gonna handle any of this. I can't really block them anymore. Don't necessarily think it's a defeat yet, but it's uh, it's certainly looking a little spicy at the moment. Especially now that they're right in my face.
<laughs> yep, uh, I had a feeling that would happen at some point. Wasn't sure when, but I knew they were going to throw that at some point. Actually, a little bit surprised they didn't die, to be honest. That is very disappointing. Hey, Clonko, how are you doing? Yeah, it doesn't exactly look great for me at the moment. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no, this is, um... I'd probably put this on a defeat. I said I could... Really? How is that equal and I've got like... Three defense from the city, that's... That's a little butts, I'll say. Uh, get some artilleries in and hope they don't just immediately die. <laughs> they will, but... Yeah. You gotta hope, I guess. Artillery's down, <laughs> and the other artillery will also probably be down. I mean, if I somehow don't die this turn, I think I might... <laughs> I think I might save us all a little bit of time and just yield. <laughs> I don't think I'm pulling back from this one. I think <laughs> I'll do us a favor and save a little bit of time. It's important to keep the enemy from crossing the bridge onto your side. Try building a defensive wall. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, th I, I think I found that out. That when, when, as soon as they cross that bridge, it, it all goes to bit tits up. So again, this seems to be a sort of like, 
a mission based on like not letting them cross a certain line. I mean, I guess I, guess I could explain like a reason why I'm not doing so hot on these missions is because um, it's because these are like more defensive missions. These are sort of you have to play a bit more defensively than previous missions. But if they want to do that, go ahead. Artilleries at the moment. I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to kill that tank. Because now obviously the medium tank has a sort of like way in. I mean they had a way in anyway because they could have retreated the other tank. This is I'm not sure what would have been the better outcome. But at least I know with with the other side where it's the where it's my medium tank and their little tank. And it's like, okay, you're kind of like fine there. Because even if like the medium, the small tank wants to try and step to me, it's just gonna not go well for them.
I don't know if that tank is... Like, I feel like that tank is probably, is possibly strong enough to push past. Which is, like, a little bit worrying, but... I don't know. Like, really, after that, it mostly has, um... Artillery units, so even if it does, it's not necessarily... It can't really do all that much. Right, this is good. We can have, like, a quick heal. And... I've got some money for... Some other good units now. Okay, so they could, like, try and push forward with this tank, but I don't think they'd really be able to do much with it. Like, they'd have to, like... Like, yeah, this, this side is, like, pretty much safe now. Because even if the tank goes for this guy, um, I'll then have other units ready to kill, ready to attack, and this guy won't be able to attack and move next turn. Well, whilst their artillery unit got past the line, it's then just kind of like, okay, well, what are you going to do now that you've got past the line? Well, I guess we're not going to do anything. <laughs> That's what I thought. Like, they, they, well, and then they, they could maybe attack, like, a couple units with it, but, like, they could attack this, my artillery unit. wasn't all that worth getting behind the line for. But we can get another rocket and this will be good. I think I've got them.
Yeah, fuck it, more rockets, why not? Is there like if I want, I could possibly try and maybe take some of these over for like more money per round, but I don't even think that's necessary to be honest. They're still just like lining up for like, we're gonna do something, yeah! No, no you really ain't. <laughs> See if I can pick them out this turn. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if there's just enough of me to take them out. like one more. I, I needed like one more unit to take them out. He, he's, he's trying. God bless him, he's trying. And now you're trapped! <laughs> this is beyond comprehension. Regardless of the odds, Kambe should never lose as many units. Withdraw! Now that was fun. Woo! I got an S rank! That's my first S rank of the whole game.
They're pretty good, aren't they? You can go on and on about their superior number of bases, but they really just outlasted you, Father. But Sonja... Father, stop that whining. You're the Yellow Comet Commander, for goodness sake. Yes, you're right. I am. What should I do? Well, first of all, we obviously need to match their number of bases. Of course. Kanbei must have bases too. Yes, but we also... It is decided! Kanbei shall secure bases near the enemy! Father! Oh, gone again. Didn't he realise that the proper location of bases is just as important as numbers? Well, well if this is going to be more... Um, <laughs> hold the line sort of battles... I'm just going to skip the, well, let's try Sammy out. And she's like, no, 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 I'll just go with someone else first. Kanbei's got us surrounded. On top of that, we have to seize properties to win. Which I think is going to get rough. But look, this time we have an airport. What's an airport again? Airport, airports let us deploy air units. Plus damaged planes and copters can go there to recover HP. Oh, okay, got it. That's cool, but isn't that Kanbei's base right there? Don't worry about that one. Take a close look. The place to poise ground units, right? What's out in the middle of nowhere? It's completely useless. Let's ignore that one and capture some other bases and cities. We need to capture 15 properties to win. Then the one time I think... Uh, you know what? I won't play a Sammy. It's, a <laughs> it's kind of a movement mission. Great. I forgot that Battlecopter can't attack planes because who the fuck knows why. <laughs> oh ho, ho ho Look what I found! A base for Kanbei's troops! I shall deploy a mountain of troops! Fucking hell, they can have loads of land! I guess we're getting ready for that obligatory loss. good an like anti air is here. I mean obviously anti air is good, but it's like here? Mm, maybe not here, you know. 
anywhere else, sure. Come on, I just made that. Well, I guess now the anti-air is going to be useful. Try that one more time with the transport copter. Come back when you've matured some. He said something else, but the dialogue just carried on. <laughs> transport copters. Yeah, they only really have transport copters now, so... And it, th this is going to be not very useful. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, this would have been a really good map for Sammy, I think. <laughs> it's like the one time I'm like, hmm, maybe we shouldn't bother with Sammy. And like, nope, no, this is a map where you actually want to move quite a bit. Great. <laughs> Because I think I just remembered. No. Oh. Okay, I thought I thought they can't carry them. No, that's Landis. That's C stuff. That's fine. I'm not. I'm not an idiot. Or I'm, at least I'm not an idiot in the way I thought I was. <laughs> You know what? Uh, actually, hmm, hmm. I was like, hmm, you know what? It might be useful to have tanks, but I just, remember, I just thought, like, I don't think I can deploy tanks with the transport units, can I? No, I can carry foot soldiers. That little island in the middle is starting to look awfully crowded. <laughs> is everybody standing on the island? <laughs> oh no, they're taking out a unit that I um, oh, really care about. Really. I re oh, you shouldn't have done that. You know what? I'm going to use my power purely to heal these two guys. <laughs> these two guys that are slightly damaged.
Oh, and I, I guess there was that other. There's that guy at the bottom. He's like, oh man. I can't, I can't believe he's injured. I've actually got rockets, I may have to be careful for that now. Yeah, no, I might actually have to be a little bit careful for that. Especially if they are actually going to start sending people like around that, like down the bottom. I also think I need to stop this guy from capturing this area. I think. I think that's what like the surplus bit means. I think it's like how many you've got to capture until you've won. Maybe. I mean, really, it's it's just more so sort of. Stop them capturing it next turn. Fuck you, random transport copter. I didn't want to do that, I wanted to capture... whatever. <laughs> Just sit you here so you can not capture the city. I probably should have dropped you though. <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't kill me. Ah. Now I'm no longer surprised that didn't kill me. Because it did. Oh, I should actually be a little bit careful here since they actually have anti-air units. In this part.
I thought you could supply here. Well, bless him for trying. Wait, can they not attack units? Oh, they can't. I was like, why isn't he attacking me? It's like, oh, he can't. That's why he's not attacking me. I know it's a very interesting thing. They've basically like filled this area, filled this place with things that can't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, transport copter. Sure, why not? Let's splash out on a bomb array. That's going to be bad for the copters, but I guess I don't really need the copters anymore. I guess. I don't know, like, because most of all they have is just, like, anti-air units. I think I only need to take over, like, a couple more places anyway. Yeah, I just need to take over one more place. I mean, it's like, fuck it, I could go over here. <laughs> and just go, I'm gonna take over this place now! <laughs> I was like, that guy can't stop me. But by the time, like, any of these come and try and stop me, it'll be too late. <laughs> I mean, if anything, that's, that's almost like the realistic part about this game. Because sometimes you can just be like, uh, ah, yeah, some units are just gonna be like, you, you, this unit is gonna be indispensable. <laughs> well, dispensable, I guess. I don't know. You, you, you can die, and that's fine, and yeah, I'll live. <laughs> It's for the glory of war. Thank <laughs> you. 
By my sword? What a horribly useless base that was! Oh, father. You know this is because you never let me finish what I'm trying to tell you. But, but, Sanja, I... And one more thing. Only Star's objective is not to conquer Yellow Comet. <laughs> more channel points since when. I just, like, okay, I, I have looked into things. They're just like... I don't know. <laughs> Like, so one thing that I was looking at, that I, I think I mentioned I, I looked at this, was um, a thing called crowd control. And it's, Jesus, that is a lot of points. <laughs> and basically it's like, you know, people can like, um, control the game I'm playing using... It's mainly supposed to be for bits, but you can, like, there is a way to use channel points. Um, but I don't know exactly how good it is because it's one of those things where like the creators made it with bits in mind and channel points is sort of like an after thing. Um, but there's like a limited game selection and like from the um, the games that are on there, none of them are massively interesting to me, but the ones that are, I'm like, I don't know, I either, I either feel like the like, oh, like options that you're able to do, the things that people are able to do with their points, either aren't all that interesting, or it's a game that I I want to play casually first before doing, like, a, um, before, like, you know, allowing viewers to, like, mess with the game sort of thing. So, I mean, I, I have looked into that sort of thing, but I don't know. I feel like it's probably one of those things where, like, if you if you know how the channel points works and if you know, like, that sort of stuff, it's probably a lot easier to make stuff that you can use channel points for, but seeing as I don't, <laughs> I have no idea what to do with them. Blow ye winds all the morning, blow ye winds high ho Drake, what are you doing all the way out here? Got to get into position. Morning, Eagle. Wouldn't you rather just sit and bask in the sun a while? Are you insane? The Iron Star Army is on the move. Oh, is that so? Is that so, Drake, are you... Be cool, everything's under control, no need to rush. Got everything set up. Now, doesn't this sun feel good? Oh, he's gone. Ah, well, I guess I'd better get underway before Eagle gets his feathers any more ruffled. Drake always finds some way to sidetrack me. He's absolutely peerless in naval combat, but sometimes I wonder. Yeah, we'll go with Andy again. Uber, Andy, can you hear me? Is that you now? What is it? We have an emergency. The Coral Fortress is being stormed by Drake of Green Earth. We've never had trouble with him before, so we didn't see them coming. There are a bunch of bad guys here. This point is of vital importance to Orange Star. If the enemy seizes a lot of properties here, we'll lose control of the area. You have to beat them to it and secure as many cities as possible. Including your bases and HQ, you must secure 12 properties to win. Secure as many properties as possible? Okay, I got it. These bases are yours to use. Uber, deploy whatever units you see fit. I'm counting on you. Got it covered. Um, hey Uber, which units do we use to capture with again?
Now's the time. I need to know if Orange Star was behind these black-hearted acts. Anchors away! By the way, what kind of CEO is Drake? I've heard that he's virtually unstoppable in naval combat. His armada is supposed to be a real powerhouse. Here you go again, Sammy. You're a warehouse of intel. I could swear there was something else. Something big. can't make a C unit, so it is vital that I keep the lander alive. Like, like really important, like, keep the lander alive. Oh, for the love of God, please. <laughs> Did you attack? Oh, Jesus, you have a massive range. I kind of wish I saw that the battleship was here. Hey Pablo, how are you doing today? That's all right. Well, these guys can go for C as well, except you aren't close enough. Great. I really don't want to lose my lander, like at all. currently have a way to avoid it. Mm. 
looking for where that sub. I, I just kind of gotta hope that they don't die. in your lives and understanding here so I'm using Cooper. Well even though you may not understand this, uh, thank you for watching even if you don't <laughs> understand the language. That is that is appreciated, so thank you. I think now might be the best time to try and possibly take that middle area. I'm a tough old sea dog. Probably read what he does. Strikes all enemy units for damage. Ooh, that is. That's a little bit nasty, that is. That's. Tad cheeky. Do anything. 
Okay, well, we are both equal at the moment. It's fine. Too close. Damn. Fuck it, take out your transport units. <laughs> Are you using them? No. Does that mean you need them? Definitely not. So that like w like capturing that one other place in the middle here doesn't take that's like that like one extra turn. Did I attack these? I don't remember attacking those missiles at all.
Yeah, I gotta be a little bit worried. Um, well, not worried. Careful about that. Um, that tank that's making its way up on the right. So my left side is starting to look a little bit. I'm not even starting to look, it is getting very weak. Okay, if they want to do that, fine. Sure. I think I will need to like recapture that area, possibly. I say recapture, I never actually had it, but... I just think, what, I'm on f I need four to win? And I've kind of got like three obvious ones. Three obvious ones here. Oh no, two obvious ones. Really, my next best bet is that one. But I'm not even so sure about that because I don't actually know. Yeah, this area is sort of built up a little bit. It might be better to just go on the left side, try and build that up a little bit. Yeah, I'm not really worried about losing my submarines anymore. I've sort of d done everything they can do.
like that. Oh well. gonna blow up in a turn anyway, so I don't care about the submarines. Just need to take one more. Cons for quick moving. Okay, I thought they weren't going to go for me at all for a second. I was like, wow, they're, they're just really not going to target this guy who's, you know, going to take it there. <laughs> He's going to take one of their bases and then win. something. I feel like I need to read that again because it's like I'm sure I said it does damage to all units, but it's like I'm pretty sure there were some units it did not damage then. Specifically the submarine.
just want to read where the power is again. Collect all enemy units for damage. I, it says all enemy units, so... I don't know why some of them just didn't take damage. Like, some of them definitely did take damage. But some of them also definitely didn't take damage. Just stay strong, recon unit. Just, just stay there for a little bit. At this point, it's kind of safe to say that I've got the match. It's just now waiting till the computer kind of lets me have my victory. <laughs> like, no, 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 this is mine. You're not coming back from this. <laughs> Weather effects is just going to make it take all that a little bit longer. But I guess the way this has worked out is that, like, my sort of not terribly brilliant attack on sort of the right side has meant they're a little less... They're, they're sort of, like, loosened up on the left side a little bit now.
And now it's like they've got, they've got loads of stuff ready for the right side. But, I don't know, there's not a whole lot they can do with it now that I'm just mostly done. <laughs> oh wow. That is, that is a sad sight if I've ever seen one. <laughs> It's really the thing to be worried about now is the fact that they could possibly take those two cities on the right again, on the top right. I actually did something because I was on the beach and had a little less defense. I'm probably going to annihilate that guy. Mm, strangely not. I think I need, I need three turns, I think, including this one, but it's like in those turns, I need them to not take any of my cities on the top right, which is, you know, I, I don't know, because like, it, it's more than whether or not this guy would be able to make it, which I don't think he would. Like, even if these guys die, I don't think he'd be able to get to the city. exactly what parking your guy on <laughs> my HQ is going to do because you can't take it over with those units but okay Well, it doesn't matter because he couldn't take any of my other properties, so that means I win. A job well done. You've beaten me. So, you're Drake. That'd be me. I wanted to find some answers here, but all I've netted are more questions. I've been seeing you again, lad. You were so close.
of that fresh sea air. I'll be honest, <laughs> looking at the bar, they, that kind of maybe felt a bit generous. <laughs> Neptune's beard, that was a rough battle. Come on, Drake. We'll be beaten again if you don't get moving. Quit your jabbering and look around, Eagle. Only fools sail in, into uncharted waters blindfolded. What are you talking about? Orange Star did not attack Green Earth. But we saw... We saw what we were meant to see. All this goes beyond the battles in Green Earth. This entire conflict has been orchestrated from the beginning. But how? Quiet. Now, if I'm right, we'll have to turn the tides on our mystery foe. Best way to test my theory is to battle Orange Star again. You mean that wasn't Andy? Hmm. You know, we'll, we'll try Sammy again. We haven't had any luck with her so far. But we'll, we'll try once more. <laughs> You mm, fog of war mission. Uber, Sammy, do you read me? Yes, now, what is it? It's about some units you're using. We need, we need you to protect your landers. Orange Star is experiencing a shortage of them. If you lose those units, you'll lose this battle. Landers? We have two of them. Do you mean protect both of them? Yes, both of them. Understood. We'll do our part. You can count on us. I know I could. Thanks, Uber, Sammy. S Uber, what's up with Sammy? You know she acts differently around Nell? N no. Oh, okay. I guess it's just me. Yo, Andy. Sammy's giving you the evil eye. Gotta stop thinking. It just gets me in trouble. <laughs> Capture the enemy HQ or defeat all of the enemy's units to win. Then we destroys either of your landers, you lose. Wow. This sounds like it's gonna be a toughie. Let's see. All I've got to do is to win is send those landers to the bottom of the sea. That'll keep them from coming ashore. Up and out and made ease. I mean, I guess the good thing about this being a fog of war mission is that I can use the coral to hide my landers. a big uh oh <laughs> I'm in trouble now <laughs> as in I'm pretty sure I've lost this one now 
<laughs> Whoops. Go there and hopefully distract them. <laughs> but probably not. <laughs> Yeah, no, I feel like I've really fucked this up with just that one trap. Oh! This is kind of what I was hoping for, is that by... Putting my battleship here, possibly sacrificing it. Oh no, okay, no, 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 I'm fucked. He, he just attacked it with a different thing. <laughs> Obligatory loss, hooray! You said units on landers avoided taking any damage. No. You land as well, and you can unload fresh troops onto the enemy's doorstep. Better look next time. Right, well, I, I want to try that again, but I want to not just, like, immediately fuck myself. Let's say yes this time. I think she's looking for a promotion. Hey you, you're playing with fire, Andy. Let's lay low a bit, okay, Uber? I gotta be careful because there was a submarine somewhere here.
так вот. Where are you going to attack? I'm going to be careful of that attacking my rockets next turn. Which I probably will want to do. That's painful. Oh, please don't kill. I'm, I feel like I'm s sticking to this mission now. I'm like, no, I will do it. I will do this mission. as well. So my hope is that the submarine that's like here somewhere was like, oh, I can go for the lander and then it'll actually run into my sub and then that'll reveal it. Or it'll do that, we'd still reveal it. And I'll somehow actually come out on top of that. Uh, things are moving though. We're, the, we're in unknown territory on like, it's turn three. <laughs> it's time to get scared. <laughs> Battleship, hopefully. 
Okay. It's not gonna kill me though if, if it wants to do anything. fucking told me I could attack that and then it didn't actually let me attack that I mean it's not within range but that's slightly irritating <laughs> when he inevitably pulls another fucking battleship out of his asshole <laughs> Okay, I guess I don't have to be too worried about some of these guys, it's more just... It's just the, uh, just the landers. Everyone else can die, it's fine, as long as it's not a lander dying. Oh, that recon unit would have actually been pretty sick though. Um, so that's a shame that that's dead. <laughs> I might keep the sub here for the minute. You can carry two copter units. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should get rid of this then. <laughs> I might be carrying something. Oh, I don't know. Oh, they have a lot of artillery in this area. 
home from the city. We're losing the medium tank is not great. Uh, especially when they've got a medium tank coming out to play. Maybe also start trying to move my missiles. That the recon unit dying was very not good. <laughs> I don't know if that tank can see this tank, though. So I don't know if I can just, like... I don't know if it'll run straight past me. Well, it run will run straight past me. <laughs> Just, just out of these, it's just best to get rid of the medium tank. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous to be left alive! No, don't do it! I was hoping for a kill there. Oh yeah, they've got more artilleries. I think I kind of forgot about that. Thank you. 
Yeah, get rid of the artillery. Because, I mean, the, the infantry will just, like, spend their next turn capturing the rest of the city, and it's like, yeah, whatever. Watch out for traps now. <laughs> oh yeah, I just realized that. Oh yeah, they couldn't see that the, just because the submarine was like... Was dived? Doved? Diving? It was underwater. It was subbed. Submerged. That's the word. Well, there's the rockets. I know I'm here, but... Oh, they can't do anything about the tank, because that's too close. My real worry is what's on this sort of side, because I don't know. I think there's also like a, a missile here, or like it, it, there's definitely something on one of these cities. Or oh, no, an artillery, I think. But there was definitely like another artillery that was like just chilling somewhere. Okay, there's an, there's an artillery in a forest somewhere nearby. There's a tank there! <laughs> so yeah, as I said, the, the sort of thing that I'm worried about is that sort of area here. It's like to the right. Thank you. 
I mean, I feel like if they had more than that one sub, they would have came for me. You know? I thought, like, really, what my cruiser can do now is just... Try and get me a better view on some of the other areas that I can't really see all that well at the moment. kind of shitty little plan is to just take over the HQ <laughs> and win through that means. Set it. Well, there's the missiles that were being a pain in the ass. Even though I should have already known they were there, because they came out a while ago. Ooh. Now that is actually good to know. And I've won. Curses, I've been defeated. Time to hoist sail and flee. I won, somehow. Aye, like I said, that's a rough opponent. This old sea dog deserves some smooth sailing now and then. Drake, listen. About our earlier about our earlier conversation. Ahoy there, Eagle. Time for you to test the waters. Battle Orange Star yourself and see if my theory holds any water. I think you're right. This will be the third time I've faced Eagle. It's about time to wrap him up for good. I'm gonna get him and make him tell me why he's been chasing me. <coughs> I must be dreaming. Andy, are you getting serious on us? 
You feeling okay, pal? You coming down with something? Give me a break, guys. I don't think you understand what it means to be me. Alright, I think this is just a normal old battle. Yep. So, for the vehicles, aside from air units, there's only one way up. This is a very awkward map. Like, really awkward. Also, like perfectly drop it where the tank can get me. Okay, what can you attack? You can only attack other. Check if that's in the bomber's path. Oh wait, no, bombers can't even attack, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it wasn't, but it also doesn't matter. <laughs> Despite Drake's conviction, I find it hard to credit his hypothesis. Andy, I'm coming for you! That's what I should have been careful about, because now my recon unit is probably dead. And now my recon unit is definitely dead. <laughs> Whoops, lol. <laughs> That's very nice. He put this right in the way. He put it like perfectly set up. 
so that my bomber can't be reached by his anti-air units just yet. <laughs> Try and get rid of the bombers, or at least, at least make them pretty much useless uh, as quick as possible. I don't know how useful capturing this city will be, but eh, why not? <laughs> Not great, but I guess I'm not necessarily too worried about losing the transport copter. Not ideal, but it shan't be the biggest loss. There's no way I'll be defeated by the likes of you, Andy. Oh no, he's gonna do it all again. Shit. <laughs> ah, now my bomber is in anti-air unit range. Fuck. <laughs> it's amazing how quickly he gets some of his powers, I'll be honest. Like, bear in mind, this is fucking day two. as bad as I expected. <laughs> Alright, well this guy's a little bit of shit creep. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I can take this area. I can then do precisely nothing with it, but... <laughs> heels in. Mm. Can't get out of range of this fighter, so that's no good.
So I think I think my bomb is gonna probably die next turn anyway. Just right. Oh, and um, well, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't have to die next turn. Oh wait, no, 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 because there's a fighter there. Yeah, that's that's why it'll die next turn. Because if he if he decides to get or like, well, it doesn't necessarily have to, but it might. Like I can't run out of the fighter's range. So I guess I may, I may as well go down swinging. Try and take this medium tank down a little bit with me as well. I said that was probably inevitable because there, there, there was just kind of no way I could avoid it really. I, I couldn't get out of the ring, so I may as well have I may as well have chipped away at that tank before going. Right, he's probably going to want to try and take this city back now. Yep. <laughs> Which, funnily enough, I couldn't actually stop him from doing. Um, yeah. I may as well. He only has two air units left. A fighter and a bomber. I still have one air unit and I've still got some anti-air units. Which is good. Really, that, that, that fighter is now only useful for trying to take out my fighter. And then as, as soon as my fighter got, dies, as soon as it dies, yeah. As soon as it dies, then it's useless. Thank you. 
Okay, good. I wasn't expecting them to kill. Gonna make it slightly easier to get rid of his fighter. He's gonna if he's gonna bring the fight uh, to me. <laughs> like I feel that would have been a slightly better move if he had his. Uh, if he had his CO power. Oh, you still... Oh. You can only take down things. That's irritating. Because that means you're pretty much useless at this stage. <laughs> and you can just fuck off then, I don't care about you. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to attack that. Whatever. gonna do much. Fighter just trading blows. So I'm pretty sure they won't be able to kill me next turn. So they won't go for it. Oh, I was hoping for a kill there. This will definitely be a kill. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's about as I expected. Still fine, though. It's still good. I thought I had my power. I almost have my power. Bloody irritating. This, this would be a good time to have my power. Uh, but not if he's not going to do anything. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There we go. Alright, they've only got a couple units left now. Interesting time to use that. Yep. <laughs> and that's how you know the computer is done. <laughs> At this point, it really is just like, right, come to me so I can, so I can save turns, okay? <laughs> Let's make, make this easier for me, please. I'm surprised he doesn't try and make it harder by fucking running his tank away. <laughs> At least I can bait him out. Yeah, I thought I thought he, just, he was gonna run away then. I was like, really? You're gonna run away now?
Come on, tell me. Why have you been chasing me? Don't play the fool with me, well. Do you expect me to forget what you did to Green Earth? Huh? The look on your face during the assault. I'll never forget. Never! No, you're wrong. It wasn't me. What did you take me for, boy? I saw your face. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Why would I be, why would I be out attacking other countries? Why? Hmm. Very well. I'll take you at your word. For the moment. There are Drake's thoughts to consider as well. But I don't believe, but don't believe for a moment that I trust you. If I find out you're lying to me, you'll curse the day you were born. It wasn't me, I swear. Ooh, only B rank. <gasps> I'm a gold rat. I don't really want to do the next mission, I kind of want to call it here. What's the, uh... Oh, what's the, um... I'm sure there's like a... Reset thing with the game. But anyway, we'll, we'll just leave it here. We'll just leave it on this screen. But yeah, thank you all for watching uh, and hanging out. I appreciate it as always. Um, next stream will be Friday with some more Pioneers of Olive Town. I almost said Pioneers of Story of Seasons. No, Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. You know, everyone's been really enjoying so we'll be getting back to that on Friday um, if you miss a stream you can catch up either by what going to the highlights on Twitch or you can go to the Uber archive over on YouTube and you can watch all the vods there um, I have a Twitter and a YouTube if you feel like checking them out I might want to keep your eyes on the YouTube because I've been working on um, a silly little video that all Hopefully been going up tomorrow, but that depends on how much editing how much that depends on if I finish it tonight <laughs> But yeah That is gonna be it for me tonight. So thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye